The unemployment rate remains stuck at 8.2 percent. That's no change from May. The pace of hiring in the past three months well below what was seen as the year began. By the government's count, just 80,000 jobs were added in June, and nearly 13 million people remain unemployed. Still, Labor Secretary Hilda Solis says progress is being made. When you think about it, we lost 8.5 uh, million private sector jobs by 2009 and now we're at 4.4 million private sector jobs that we've added back. The disappointing report underscores the struggles that many Americans face. Francine Fortas has been out of work for only a few weeks but she sees a difficult mm -hmm. road ahead. It's not easy to get, I'm, I'm a nurse and everybody says oh you're, you're a nurse so you'll get a job. It's not so easy to get a, a job. At 55 years of age as a nurse, it's like going back to work again and starting all over again. With so many people looking for work, many job applicants are also finding that the landscape has changed significantly. It's just that there's so many people looking right now that uh, people, employers in my field, the rates have gone down for what I do significantly. and. Um, there's so much competition for every job. Employment analysts are seeing other changes in the wake of the economic downturn. Many of the types of jobs that are available are trending toward a non-traditional workforce. 25,000 jobs were actually created um, in the month of June that were temporary help jobs or contract labor and it's showing us that companies are hiring differently so even though as they ramp up they're using people that will offer them flexibility that can help them to be adaptable and change based on what the economic conditions are. Many of those conditions have gotten choppy. In recent days reports on consumer confidence as well as retail sales have been below forecasts. Global economic headwinds are also a concern with the slowdown in Europe translating to reduced demand for American-made products. There's so many things that we, d we can't control that happen in Europe and, and we're hoping that uh, measures that are taken there will, will hopefully stabilize and create more certainty in their market, just as we've had to do here in the United States. Unless action is taken by Congress and the President, growth dampening tax hikes and spending cuts are set to take effect with the arrival of the new year. Mark Hamrick, the Associated Press, Washington.